Congratulations on your acceptance into Complexity Explorer's Spring 2018 Complexity Challenge. This video serves to describe the system that you must analyze for this challenge question. You can find the components of the challenge analysis as well as details for the Single Agent Strategy Tournament as a downloadable PDF as well as on this page. For the Complexity Challenge, consider the following scenario. Suppose there are 50 agents. At each time step, each agent must decide to locate at one of three possible pools. These pools are called stable, high, and low. Agents must choose their pool without knowledge of what the other agents have picked and can only rely on information from prior time steps. In particular, each agent must make their choice knowing only the number of agents, but not their identity, that located at each pool and each pool's payoff for all prior time steps. Agents are allowed to switch pools at the start of any time step, but to do so costs the agent a payment of tau where tau is greater than or equal to zero. Once all agents have selected a pool, each pool provides a payoff for that time step. Any agent that locates at the stable pool always receives one coin at the end of the time step. The other two pools each pay a random amount that must be split evenly among all of the agents that selected that particular pool at that time step. The payoffs of the remaining two pools are as follows. The high pool pays 80 coins that must be split evenly among the occupants of the pool with a probability of 0.25 and 0 coins otherwise, and the low pool pays 40 coins, again split evenly among occupants with probability 0.5 and 0 coins otherwise. The random payoffs for the high and low pools are independent of one another. This system will run for 100 time steps with agents accumulating payoffs at each time step. Explore the general dynamics of the above system using a diverse set of agents, i.e. agents that have different rules for deciding which pools to invest in. Part 1. Analysis of the system. Your analysis should include, but is not limited to, discussing the following questions. What general behaviors arise in this system? How does the wealth of the agents change over time, at the aggregate level and at the individual level? How does the diversity of strategies influence the dynamics of the system? And what classes of agent behavior lead to better performance? Suppose that meta-agents can coordinate the behaviors of a subset of agents and split the resulting payoffs equally across a subset. How does this impact the system's behavior? And how do the answers to the above questions change as tau is altered and as you change the total number of agents in the world? Part 2. The Tournament Please submit your best single agent strategy, including both the pseudocode and the actual code, to enter into a tournament based on the original rules. You can assume that tau is greater than 0 and less than 1, and the tournament length will be greater than 50 but less than 100 rounds. There will be 50 agents in each tournament. Some of these agents will be other entries. Some of these agents will be copies of your own entry. Some of these agents will act randomly every round. And some of these agents will choose a pool at the beginning and never move. Depending on the number of entries we receive, we may have to have an elimination bracket for the final tournament contest. Write a net logo function in the form you see on the screen. A full description of each element of this function will be available to you in a downloadable PDF. When you have written your function, place it in a NetLogo file all by itself and submit that file. Congratulations again and best of luck on this challenge.